Hi, my name is Cami. I'm a sophomore studying electrical engineering and minoring in dance. And today I'm going to be taking you through VHE, which is one of our EE undergraduate buildings where you, they do labs and research and projects, that sort of thing. So right now we are in one of those EE labs, so you can take a look around. And you can see all the desks have different equipment, so like oscilloscopes and voltage sources and multimeters. And you can see there's electrical equipment for when students are working on breadboards. Maybe we could look at a student's breadboard. Oh, yeah, great. They're working on the serial communications lab. So, this is the instructor um, breadboard and Arduino set up. And the object of this lab is that they will connect to their own breadboard and Arduino, and they should be able to communicate with each other using a serial protocol. And this is Megan. Hi, I'm one of the CPs <laughs> for EE109. Um, yes, yeah, so this is our one of our final labs. It's um, the culmination sort of of an entire semester of working on Arduinos. They do stuff with rotary encoders, uh, serial communication, buzzers, all of the above. It's a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I've enjoyed the class so much that now I CP, and um, it's really great to sort of give back to Students um, understanding when I was one of those students who had no idea what was going on and sort of being at this place. Um, yeah, I really love it. How did, how did you know you wanted to do EE? So I actually was pre-med originally, and I was like, I don't want to do this for my life. Um, I took a cybersecurity class, which is in the ITP program, and I was like, ooh, networking is pretty cool. So kind of decided to do EE because of that. I didn't know anything going into it, and now I'm a junior, I'm in the deep end, so, um, yeah, and I haven't looked back since. It's great, gets a bad rep, but EE is great. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite part of it so far? Um, well, so definitely networking. I took 250 last semester. Um, that's sort of a new class on the Internet of Things, and they go over sort of an overview of networking and uh, signal processing, um, speed, power usage, and all that stuff, um, especially since the Internet of Things is such a uh, sort of buzzword right now, and it's the new thing in EE and CS and all that stuff. So I really enjoyed that, and now I'm looking into um, networking more from a cybersecurity standpoint, but that's kind of what I want to do, and it's been cool to go from, like, wow, I'm in pre-med and I don't like this, to, yeah, <laughs> I'm excited about, like, what I'm learning right now, what I'm going to do after I graduate. That's awesome. Could you show us how this lab works or what, what's um, happening well, for it? You. Yeah, well, I can try to connect the other one to it. <laughs> so we have two Arduinos. Got to connect them to each other's ground. Okay. These are the two instructor ones. Let's hope I, oh, I did it correctly. Okay, I was a little <laughs> bit worried. So, yeah, so we have a bunch of text messages that um, we pre-programmed into the Arduinos. Um, you can sort of scroll through them using these buttons. Once you select one, you press the select button, and it will send to the other one, and then once it's received, it will show up on the bottom line. That one's not working, but this one is working. How are you? Oh, that's so cool. Oh, my gosh. Weber's one of the professors for the class. <laughs> so is Redikoff. So, yeah. I don't know why it's not working the other way, but one of them's working. Mm -hmm. And so all the students here are working on that right now? Yeah. So they're going to need to do their own, and then it needs to be able to communicate with the instructor drive, and that's how we know that um, they did the lab correctly. What are some other projects that students have done in this uh, class? So they did one where they had a rotary encoder. I don't know if we have any of those out right now, but it's yeah. this little knob that you turn, and it will sort of... Uh, when you turn it a little bit, it's supposed to be a counter. Um, that one was supposed to play sounds when you're at different levels of the count. Um, we made a timer. Uh, we made a little game where you have to um, also turn the rotary encoder, and it will like go across the bottom screen, and you have to line up with something on the top screen. 
Um, what else have we done? Those are sort of the main ones. And the final project, which they're about to start, um, not sure what they're doing this year, but in the past they've done like a range finder where I had to determine how far away something was, then a temperature sensor. Um, and those kind of combine all of the labs throughout the semester. Like you do the temperature sensing and then you have to send the temperature to another device. So they really try to um, emphasize what you've learned throughout the semester and how it can all sort of come together in one device that can do some cool things. That's awesome. Thank yeah. you so much. Of so you can keep looking around. All of the equipment is stored in those cabinets. That's where students can access all their lab equipment that they've been using throughout the semester. And that will conclude our tour of one of our EE labs. I hope you enjoy it and I hope it makes you excited about EE because there's a lot of cool stuff that they do in these classes and you got a good look around um, one of the buildings I'm in a lot. Thanks. Bye.